And in a dramatic conclusion to a civil fraud trial, Donald Trump accused the New York judge, Justice Arthur Ingron, of quote unquote, having your own agenda. In response, Ingron didn't mince his words, asking Trump's lawyer to control his client. As you know, uh, we consider this an unconstitutional witch hunt. It's election interference at the highest level. It's a disgrace. It's in coordination with the White House and Joe Biden because he can't win a campaign fairly. And uh, we're going through it, but it is indeed a terrible witch hunt. At this moment, the judge is not letting me make the summation because I'll bring up things that he doesn't want to hear. The months-long case, which could impact the former U.S. president's business empire, reached its climax as Trump clashed with the judge. On the last hearing of the trial in Manhattan, Trump yet again denied any wrongdoing and repeated claims of political persecution. The trial, which will decide the penalties after finding Trump's company inflated his net worth, is running without a jury, a ruling that is expected by the 31st of Jan. Trump's legal, and legal team and New York Attorney General Letitia James delivered closing arguments. James seeks nearly $370 million in a lifetime real estate industry ban on Trump. Her lawyer claimed Trump's company issued false financial statements from 2011 to 2021. Even the attorney for the state said that Trump's financial statements before he became president clearly showed that he was responsible for their contents. On the other hand, Trump, who continued to maintain innocence, faced skepticism from the judge and the judge questioned the argument that Trump should escape penalties because lenders and insurers turned a profit. Trump, however, has denied the argument, stating that there was no evidence of harm. The former U.S. president and his two eldest sons are, accusing, are accused of inflating the value of their real estate assets, this in order to receive more favorable bank loans and insurance terms. Trump is currently facing four potential criminal trials. He has already been charged in Washington and Georgia for attempts to overturn his 2020 election. And for more on this, our correspondent Susan Therani has sent us this report from New York. Listen to this. Any penalty against the former president could likely come at the end of the month, which could include steep financial penalties as well as the Trump organization's inability to do business here in New York. Earlier this month, Attorney General Letitia James asked for $370 million in penalties. She had initially asked for $270 million. There is no jury in this case, so the judge will decide whether or not to impose penalties and how much. A crucial endgame on Thursday after months of a civil case trial against former President Donald Trump, which could determine whether or not he'll be able to do business here in New York moving forward. The case is wrapping up in the beginning of a year that's promised to be unprecedented. The former president is eyeing the White House once again, but also is busy in courtrooms across the country fighting criminal and civil cases which could determine ultimately not only his freedom fortunes but also political future donald trump has used these court proceedings as somewhat a uh, time to campaign on the one hand and raise money from his supporters on the other calling it all a witch hunt and as for polls well they show that donald trump is leading and these court trials are actually making him more popular than not.